Hey guys, this is Michael coming back from the Help Tech Show. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to get Project M for PC. This is extremely easy to do. You don't have to do any kind of SD card methods that you may have seen on the internet because honestly, I got confused when trying to do them that way. I didn't have any access and I gave up two years ago. But this site basically has taken the original mod set for Project M 3.6 and they've made their own kind of mod on top of it. There is some problems with this mod and I will talk about them towards the end of the video. But overall, this is extremely easy to do. All you need is a copy of Super Smash Bros. on your computer. You need to basically have some kind of extraction software and you need to download the file at this website. This website link will be down in the description box below. So all you're gonna have to do is click this and it'll send you off to this particular site. Now, we've already done this, and you're going to get a file once you've downloaded it, which is going to be right here. You're going to open this. You're going to pull this to your desktop. And what I'm going to do is just exit out of this because I've already put the files in the front of my screen. In the future, I may move this to a different folder, get it off my desktop, but that's where I've put it. You're going to open up the file. And you're going to open up this custom build of Dolphin Emulator. From here, you're going to have to figure uh, Dolphin Emulator a certain way. You may notice that mine has more stuff than yours. Be able to get some of this stuff in here. You're going to have to have some games on the computer. You need to basically go into the software, go to Options, Configuration, Paths, add a path where your games are saved for Wii. If you don't have Super Smash Bros., don't worry. There's a link down in the description box below to go download it. Once you've downloaded it, put the file anywhere on your computer. You can make a new folder like this one I've made. Put the file into this folder for Super Smash Bros. Brawl's ISIL. Close this. Say Add Path. Desktop. Folder that we made. Hit Select Folder. And like that, you'll have basically access now to your game that you basically put on your screen. From this point, you're going to want to um, say set as default ISO for the game. So do that and then launch this. From in here, this is how you launch the, like what you've done, you've launched the mod now, but now it needs to find a game. That's why we said set, set default to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So from here, you're going to hit A. And it's going to say found RSB something something. That's basically the cold name for the game. Choose your character. And like that, you got Super Smash Bros. Brawl Project M. Well, you got Netplay version 4, Project M 3.6. So, it works like you expect. These characters have the same moves as Project M's. Sheik and Zelda are still separated. And the reason I like Project M's uh, 3.6 net play version 4 is that it actually puts a lot more stages into the mix. Because once the Project M team got that little takedown notice from Nintendo, they reformed, or some of them reformed into this new group that's made plenty of stages for the game that were on top of the Project 3.6 mod. So I'll give you an example. This particular stage actually has the uh, Super Smash Bros. 4's uh, battle One, stage here. Go. And that's actually not normally in there unless you uh, play this version of the mod. The only thing that uh, Project M's 3.0 had was um was just the normal melee stage and then the normal brawl stage for battle stage or battlefield yep battlefield or whatever this stage is called overall this stage is really gorgeous for a mod stage and why are you so freaking hard so, um, yeah, overall, this mod works extremely well with controllers that are configured for Dolphin, for Xbox, or if you're using a converter like I am, 
USB to GameCube adapter. I've had no problems with this mod so far, but the only one that I have came across, which despite saying there hasn't been any mod problems, is the fact that Classic Mode doesn't always seem to work correctly. So what I'm going to be doing in the near future, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to basically get the original version of Project M for a PC for Dolphin Emulator. If you guys enjoyed this video today, remember to hit the like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Little side note before I go as well, um, if you guys want to watch the full gameplay that I just played, I'll leave you guys a separate link to that as well down in the description box below.